The first vision, the header, the words of Jesus Christ, the beloved Son of God, given to Joseph Smith Jr. near Manchester Township, Ontario County, New York, in the early morning hours of April 6, 1820, commanded not to be revealed to the world until all things in their fullness are given to the inhabitants of the world, according to the own due time of the Lord now given to the world by way of commandment, quoted by Joseph Smith to Christopher Namelka on December 23rd, 2004. 1. Behold, Joseph, with diligence and proper faith thou hast inquired of our Father concerning these churches and creeds, which are an abomination in his sight, having a form of godliness as they pretend, but denying the power of the Holy Ghost which the Father hath given to this world as a witness of his will concerning its inhabitants. 2. Behold, these teach for commandments the doctrine and precepts of men, who deny the Holy Ghost, and seek not the Lord to establish his righteousness. But each man therein walketh after the manner of the flesh, which he hath received in this world. 3. Behold, they draw near to me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me, knowing not me, nor the Father, which denieth unto them eternal life in his kingdoms. 4. Behold, thou hast been chosen to bring salvation to many of the children of God in this world, even those who seek the Father diligently as thou hast sought after him, and who keep his commandments, which he hath given unto them through me, their Saviour. 5. Verily I say unto thee, The formation of a church is not that which the Father requireth of his children. Nevertheless, this he suffereth that his word might go forth among his children, in the manner that they have accepted for their own learning. 6. And I came down in the flesh as the Son of God and fulfilled all things which were given me of the Father to do for the world, insomuch that it might be saved from the sins of its generations. 7. And I was persecuted, and rejected, and lifted up upon the cross for the things which I taught unto the Jews, which things were the words that the Father sent me to give to the world. But the world knoweth not the Father, but hath invented many gods, and beliefs that take away the plainness of the plan that our Father hath established for this part of his kingdom, over which he hath placed me as your Lord and God. 8. And he hath commanded all the ends of the earth to come unto me, and receive the words which he hath given me to give to the children of men, that they might be saved in his eternal kingdoms. 9. And he hath suffered prophets to be called among men, that they might hear his words. They, because of their wickedness, unable to learn these things from the Holy Ghost, which was given unto them by the Father to teach them all things whatsoever are expedient for their salvation. 10. But they have cast out the holy prophets, and changed the doctrine and ordinances given of them to point the children of men towards me and the commandments that I have given unto them. 11. Behold, great darkness covereth the whole earth, and there are none, save a few only, who do not defile themselves by the flesh, and the works thereof doth condemn them, taking away from them the power of the Holy Ghost to be with them, and give them the fruits of the Spirit. 12. For except they obey the commandments of the Father, they shall not have the power to receive of the Holy Ghost, who giveth only unto those who are one with us, they them being one with us. 13. Behold, Joseph, my son, thou shalt be prepared in thy youth to bring forth more of the word of God, that shall be revealed to you in due time, that it might testify of the words which I have already suffered to be given unto the world and which the children of men carry forth among them, and which they preach in their churches, and which they ponder in their hearts, ever learning but never coming to a knowledge of the Father and the Son. 14. 
Behold, this is eternal life, that ye might know the only wise and true God, and Jesus Christ, whom he hath sent. I am he. Receive ye therefore my law. 15. For straight is the gate, and narrow the way that leadeth unto eternal life in the kingdom of our Father. And few there be that find it, because they receive me not in the world. Neither do they know me or him who hath sent me. 16. But if the children of men receive me in the world, then they shall know me, and shall receive eternal life in the eternal worlds of the Father. 17. Behold, because the religious sects of this world do not know me, they cannot receive eternal life. For they are led by men who deny the power of the Holy Ghost, because they do not the works that I have done. Neither do they teach the things that I have taught unto them, and which they have in the testimony of the word that hath already been given unto them. 18. And it is the will of the Father that all the children of men come unto the Father through me, that they might have this eternal life of which I have spoken. Behold, there is no other way except by me that this salvation shall come unto them. 19. And I came unto the Jews that I might teach them that they did not need to follow the leaders of their churches to destruction, but that if they seek the Holy Ghost and keep my commandments, then they would find peace and rest in me, having the fullness of my gospel revealed unto them. 20. But the Jews rejected me, because of the things that I taught unto them, desiring rather to follow the course of their churches and their leaders, which they looked to for the words of salvation. 21. Behold, the religions and churches of men have always been an abomination before God, for he despiseth them, because they put one man above his neighbor in the things which they believe. 22. And these churches lead the children of God away from the Father, because of the leaders who put themselves above the members of these churches, teaching for commandments the doctrines and precepts of men. 23. And the people are led to believe that their church is greater than that of another, thus causing a division among them, who should have all things in common before the Father. 24. Behold, in time it shall be given unto thee, the mysteries of God, and the path that he desireth that his children should follow to eternal life, and not only eternal life, but for the establishment of peace and happiness upon the earth. 25. And thou shalt desire to establish a church among men according to the commandments, and the words that thou shalt receive concerning these things, as they shall be given unto thee. But this thing is not that which shall bring happiness unto you. For this reason I forbid this thing, but unto you it shall be given according to the desires of the Gentiles. 26. And thou shalt desire to do this to prove the Gentiles herewith and show unto them that they are not above the Jews, and that the Jew is not above the Gentile, that all might know that God is no respecter of persons, and would that all of his children seek not the arm of flesh, but him and his righteousness. 27. And thou shalt be called as a prophet among them, being the first who shall prepare the way for the last, that the children of men might have the opportunity to know the Father and receive eternal life as I have explained it unto thee. And the Gentiles shall reject that which shall be given them through you, and they shall cast you out from among them, and listen not to your precepts and counsel. 28. And thou shalt lead those that listen to thy words like my servant Moses led those of the house of Israel, and give unto them my words as thou receivest through me like unto Moses and Aaron. But the Gentiles shall reject thee, as did the Israelites the Lord that Moses brought down unto them, that they might have known me, and the Father who sent me unto them. 29. And thou shalt be commanded to give unto them a lower law of ordinances, 
and sacrifice like unto those which Moses gave unto the rebellious house of Israel, who would not hear my words from my own mouth, but wanted that they be given unto them through Moses. 30. And when they rejected me, and trusted more in the arm of the flesh than they did in me, I took the plainness of my gospel from among them, and allowed them to be led according to their own desires, which were unrighteous before God, and they did stumble exceedingly because of their wickedness. 31. And the fullness of my gospel was among them, but they did not understand it trusting more in their fleshly ordinances and the sacrifices that pointed them towards this gospel. 32. And when I came down among them, they could not give up the traditions and doctrines of men that had crept in among them, and deceived their souls, causing them to trust in their church and its leaders for their salvation. 33. And behold, as I was led, so shalt thou be led like a lamb to the slaughter, being innocent of the sins of this generation, having given unto them the opportunity to receive the fullness my gospel, and establish the kingdom of God upon the earth for the last time. 34. And the Gentiles shall be led like unto the Jews of old, and they shall do all things in the likeness of the Jews, that the first may be last, and the last may be first, showing that the weaknesses of men are the same yesterday as they are today. 35. And then shall the Father put forth his hand for the last time upon the earth, and begin to gather the wheat from among the tares, and cause the tares that they shall be bundled together, and the wheat shall be gathered into the barn, where it shall be saved from the fire which shall soon come to consume this world destroying the churches and doctrines of them who teach falsehoods and lead the children of men away from the father 36 and when the work of the father commenceth upon this earth then shall the light of my gospel once again shine forth its light that those who shall see it might follow it into the barn of the lord where they shall be safe 37 and there shall be one like unto you who shall be the last, who shall be called forth to give unto the Gentiles the fullness of my gospel as I gave it unto the Jews. 38. And he shall not be like unto Moses, but he shall be like unto me, having my countenance upon him for the sake of the work of the Father. 39. And he shall do that which I have done, and preach against the religions of men and their doctrines, calling upon all men to repent and come unto me and be saved. 40. And there shall be many that shall receive the words that he shall give unto them, which have been prepared to come forth in their fullness. And these words shall come forth from thy own works, which shall be given unto thee in mine own time, as thou shalt be prepared. 41. And his work shall testify of thy work, and thy word shall testify of his words, giving unto the children of men the testimony of two, that the fullness of my gospel might come forth to prepare the world for my coming. 42. Behold, Joseph, thou art in thy youth, therefore concern not thyself with the particulars of these things, for all shall be given you according to my command and that which I have been given of the Father. 43. Thou shalt receive the keys of authority to do these things, when thou hast been prepared to receive these things. 44. And when thou shalt be rejected by the Gentiles, then shall the keys that shall be given unto thee be taken from off the earth until the last, who shall be given these same keys to bring forth the mysteries of God in their plainness that the children of men might have no more excuses in not understanding the plan of the Father. 45. And now, my son, keep all these things in thy heart, and reveal them to no man, and a commandment I give unto thee, that thou shalt not reveal unto the world the true nature of our beings, 
my father, and I being exalted beings made of flesh and bone like unto other men, except for the exalted nature of our flesh. 46. For behold, this is a mystery that the world shall not have until thou hast caused the fullness of my gospel to come forth unto the world to prepare them for these things. 47. For in the day that thou shalt be commanded to reveal these things unto the world, thou shalt be persecuted and hated, and thy work shall be cut short because of these things, and the other mysteries that shall be given unto thee. 48. And thou shalt not reveal all of these things unto those who shall follow thee, until it be commanded by me under the direction of the Father. For in that day he shall commence his final work among the children of men. 49. For if the Gentiles shall have these things, then they shall not proceed with faith, and that which they would do cannot come to pass because of their knowledge of these things. 50. And when they shall receive these things, then shall they know that the work of the Father hath commenced upon the earth for the last time. 51. Behold, if the Gentiles shall reject the fullness of my gospel given unto them through you, then shall they set up their churches and their sects, like unto those that exist in this day. But they shall be more numerous, and their doctrines more corrupt before God. 52. But that church which shall come forth because of thee, shall become like unto the church that came forth from the Jews because of Moses. And in all these things there shall be a symbol and a type, the first being last, and the last being first. 53. Behold, thou art Joseph, and hast been called of God to go forth in the calling of Elijah, and turn the hearts of the children to their fathers, as foretold by my holy prophets. 54. Seek not for the wisdom of men, for all things whatsoever thou shalt be in need of pertaining to this calling shall be given unto thee. 55. Remember my words and my commandments this day, my son, and thou shalt be commanded to bring these things forth in mine own due time. 56. Remember me and the father who smileth upon thee at this time. Know us, Joseph, and where we are, thou shalt one day come. 57. Peace be unto thee. Therefore, we leave with thee the Comforter, who shall now begin to teach thee all things for thy salvation. We love thee, Joseph. End of the first vision.